Okay, now we talk about um, small changes huh, using differential, partial differential equation. All right, small changes uh, means we we'll use delta. Okay, so for example, we have a z in a function of u v w. So we can use small changes. We can use the delta, the del in this form, a different uh, form, it's like a six symbol to represent small changes. Okay, to represent small changes. The symbol is this one. Eh? So the previously, the del is this one. The del symbol is inverted six. But for small changes, the symbol will be this one. Eh? The symbol will be in the red color. The symbol is number six, like number six. Lah. But it's like a curvy a little bit. Today we're going to look at uh, this equation. So if the question asks you to small you, uh, calculate small changes, you use this e formula. Basically, you look at the function. For example, if your function change in u, v, and w, then you process the u, process the v, process the w. Okay, you, you write del z over del u and uh, del v. In this case, because we look at for small changes, we use this symbol. Huh? So you, you solve for the v, you solve for the v, uh, u, solve for the v, solve for the w. Okay, let's look at one example. So example 14, it states that uh, pressure P and volume P V of the gas is connected with the equation PV power 1.4 K. So you're given one equation. And a question asks you approximate percentage error. Approximate percentage error in K when pressure increased 4% and the volume decreased 1.5%. So I want you to get some idea what is increase. Increase will use positive, decrease will use negative. So to find the approximate error of K, you know that K is in terms of P and V, right? So you, you use the general equation of this one. Del Z, uh, uh, okay, so for small changes, huh, the symbol that you use is curly. Curly means near to, approximate, uh, approximate a curly symbol here. Del Z equal to curly, approximate, to partial differential of z of u du u component plus the v component plus w component. However, this one you only have two components, which is k are uh, influenced by p and v. So the z will replace by k. This one will replace by p p z already replaced by k, right? Uh, so k P, P, another change the K, right, is V. So we replace this one is V, this one is V. Then we don't have the third one, so we don't need to continue this one. Okay, so write the equation given in the question, PV power 1.4 equal to K. Then write in this format, write in this format. So you write del K, curly wave is like approximate del K, YK, you compare side by side. Lah, because the question gives you K lah, and it asks you to find in terms of K. So you use K, right? P, P plus K, V, V. Any question from here to here? Nizam, you okay from here to here? No question, sir. Okay. Nizam, okay? Eh? Yeah. Edmund, you okay? Eh? Okay. Too. Okay. So the rest is just what you learned previously, the first integration, right? So recall the value, how you calculate, you have equation, right? You, you, you partial differential of P, you differentiate with P. What do you get? You get V power 14, right? First integration, this equation, K equal to P power 1.4. You integrate over P, means you only look at P, you integrate P, you get 1, and you only left V power 1.4. Then what about this one? 
you integrate over V. Okay, Shakil, what do you get for this component? If you integrate this equation or this equation, what do you get? If you do del K over del V, what do you get? Shakil? What do you get for this one? Shakil, try to solve del K over del V using this equation. Calling for Shakil. Calling for Shakil, second time. Nizam, can you try to solve this one? Del K over del V by looking at this equation. What do you get? P one point four x power of zero point four. Where where is x? Why suddenly there's an x? I mean, the v, the v. <laughs> oh, okay. So remember, there's a one point four push to the front, huh? Your one point four have to push to the front, huh? So it's like you 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 differentiate how you get uh differentiate x, uh dy dx x power two. What do you get? You get two x, right? How do you get two? How you, how you get two x? Because you pull the x power two, the two to the front, right? That's why there's one point four there. You differentiate v, right? You differentiate. You only focus on v, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, so what you do? You pull the index one point four to the front. One point four minus one, you get zero point four. P, you copy. You get this one, right? You get this one, uh, uh, Nizam? You understand? Yeah, yeah, I get it. The, okay, uh, good. V, I always change the X one. Yeah, so I mean, you, 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 can, you can substitute your, yeah. your X with the yeah, V. Yeah, it's a back to V. Okay. Uh, okay huh? All yeah. right, so the rest is just substitute back here. So you have this one, you have this one, substitute back. Okay, next, it give you information. It gives you information of increase by 4%. What does it mean by increase by 4%? You change this blue statement, this line blue statement, 4% into this equation. So when the, when the question says something increased by 4%, in this case it's pressure. So what you write is like del P equal to 4 divided by 100 times P is this statement. It means the change of pressure by 4%. 4% means 4 divided by 100 times the P. Then you get del P. Same with the velocity, uh, not velocity, volume. Same with the volume. Volume is 1.5. 1.5, but the word they, they use is uh, decrease, is negative. So volume is negative 1.5 divided by one, 100 times V, you get negative 0 0.015 V, okay? Any question from this one and this one? Shakil, are you there? Calling for Shakil? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir, I went to the toilet, yes, sir. Okay, so you're able to understand this too, huh? Shakir, okay, are you able to understand this one to this one? Uh, can you repeat it, sir? Because I just entered that. Okay. Basically, you just transform into mathematic model. So what I mean by 4%? 4% is 4 divided by 100, right? Shakir, okay, you understand, right? Percentage. 4% means 4 divided by 100. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you read the statement. This blue statement means 
pressure is increased by 4%. What, what this 4% related to? Related to pressure, right? So you take 4% times pressure is delta P, right? Correct? So basically, yes. you convert the blue color into this red color uh, relationship. Del P equal to 4 divided by 100 times P. P is a pressure. Make sense to you, this, this line? Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Then you do the same for uh, volume. But this time, uh, you have to be careful on the word uh, mentioned. In this case, it's increase. Increase, you get positive. Decrease, you must insert the negative. If the question mentioned decrease, decrease, huh? decrease by 1.5. So you do the same. 1.5% means 1.5 divided by 100. And look at this. What is this? This is volume. So 1.5 times V, but with a negative sign. Okay. Edmund, you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have this one, you have this one, you have this one, and this one from here. What you need to do, substitute inside here. So, this one you copy. Again, when you do approximate, you see approximate keyword uh, in the question means you have to use curly. Uh, don't use equal. Use curly symbol. Yeah, okay, uh, this also careless mistake uh, in exam. When you see the question already give you approximate something, in your answer, please use the curly equal, means approximate. So this one, you already calculate equal to this one. This one equal to this one. This one equal to this one. This one equal to this one. So you, you simplify this equation. You equal to PV 1.4, 0.019. Okay, you factor you factor the uh, uh, the the P and V because here P, V one point four multiply by V basically you just plus one okay V zero point four plus one because there's a V there then in front one is a constant value this one multiply by one point four then this one also this one direct then you factor, you get this value, right? So this is, um, this is uh, also mean, uh, this is just uh, also means uh, 19 over 1,000. Uh. This one, this one over 1,000. So you can write something like this, but in the exam, if you stop at here, I'll still give you full mark. Okay, so this is just a, uh, Answer you can you can transform this one equal to k equal to k you can put it here k so your answer the, the question asks you to put in k eh? remember after you do the factor out you factor out you must get what is your k k equal to v equal to k equal to p v power 1.4 so you replace p v power 1.4 equal to k and then this one you can direct copy, no problem. Okay. Yeah. So what does this information tell you? Means that K approximate error in K is 1.9% increase. Okay, what does it mean? It means the K is 1.9% increase. If you increase the if you increase the vo pressure, if you increase the pressure 4% and you decrease the volume by 1.5%, the K value will be approximate error in a K will be 1.9% increase. Okay. So this is for approximation. Let's look at one more example. Example 15. Okay, as number 15. So you're given one statement. It's about oscillation of a uh, pendulum. You're given the T equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. Determine the approximate. Uh, you see the approximate. Uh, so when later in your answer, you're using the curly symbol and not equal straight line. Uh, so you need to use the curly uh, symbol. 
Percentage error when you have an error of something, 0.2% too large and a G, 0.1% too small. Okay, so how do we solve this question? First, you write the equation first. T equal to something. You write the equation first. Okay, you write the equation. Then you write the general approximate a small changes equation like this one. Delta Z curly equal. Again, uh, this one common mistake. Uh, when you solve approximate question, you use curly equal. It is approximate meaning. Then the first unknown, second unknown, third unknown. So in this case, we have T, you have 2 pi, 2 pi is a fixed number, so it's not an unknown. You have the L, you have the G. So basically, you have T, L, and G. So your Z is T, because you compare side by side, you know that your Z is T, your L can be U, your G can be V, and this one you don't have. Okay, so what you do, you just transfer the information, compare side by side and transfer the information. So you'll get del T curly equal, which is approximate. Z change to T, U change to L, and del L plus Z, Z here is T, so del T. V here is the second one, second unknown, G. And you change this one same with denominator, also G. Any question from here to here? Any question? Edmund, you okay? You know, Edmund, you know how to change from here to here? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. So the next one, you just solve for what is this? What is this? Okay. So you are given one equation, T equal to something. Then the first one. Del T over del L means you integrate over L. Okay, so you'll get this form. You'll get pi over square root of LG. So you do the analysis. Right? So I'll, 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 I'll not show you the detail, the uh, differentiation. But you'll get this answer. Then you do this one. Blue equation, integrate with, uh, not integrate, differentiate with G you'll get this one, negative something, because your G is below in the denominator, so that's why there's a negative sign there. Square root one uh, L over G power three. Then how to find this one? How to find del L? You're given here, right? Percentage in T when L, when L have an error of 0.2%. When L have a 2%, so Convert this one into a uh, mathematics operation. So 2% is 2% uh, 0. Point, uh, point 0.2% is 0. 0.2 divided by 100 times L. It's the equation that one. And then you convert this information. Del G. Del G is given a G. 0.1% too small. So this is positive. Too large is positive. Too small is negative. So 0.1% means you take 0.1 divided by 100 times G, but with a negative sign. So one is positive, one is negative. Huh? Increasing, positive, decreasing, uh, negative. Too big, positive, too small, negative. These are the uh, keyword for you to make judgment. Then you have this one. You have this one, you have this one, you have this one. Substitute this four blue color value inside here. You'll get this equation. All right, you get this equation. See if you're able to factor out to become one equation or not. Okay, so you factor out the common factor between the front and the back is 2 pi square root L over G and you do the mathematics, you'll get 0 0.0015. This is the answer. Okay? And always remember, always remember after you get this one, rewrite back what is your T. Rewrite this one 
equal to T. Okay, so if you see the procedure here, when you substitute your value inside here, we expect you to simplify, simplify this answer until you get the equation over here. You'll get some something like this. Then you, you change this one in terms of T. Then you get the answer. Okay? So what does it mean? It means that the error in T is, there's a positive value, right? This is positive value, so that is an increase of 0.15%. Okay, 0.15%. How you know it's 0.15%, you time 100, you get 0.15%. Okay, this one, you time 100, the decimal move two place behind, you get 0.15%. Okay. Same, same, same meaning. Huh? This one and this one is the same meaning. Huh? Okay, with this I end the recording for chapter 4, partial differential.